Good evening, everyone. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com, and this is your weekly outlook for the week starting with October 1st, 2018. It is 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time right now. We're about 30 minutes away from a new trading session that will start very soon. All right, let's begin by taking a look at the markets and let's see what we have in store for this week. We're gonna begin with the monthly charts tomorrow. It is October 1st, so we're gonna have a new monthly candle. We're also gonna have a new weekly candle. All right, so let's take a look and see what is going on with price. All right, so on Friday, we closed uh, the e mini Dow at 26,503. And this month we had a high of 820, actually breaking the high from January. So we have a full completion, 100%, and uh, we still have a lot of room for a continuation higher. So right now we're gonna be running into projections, uh, into projected target zones. Let's uh, move on to the weekly charts. And the weekly charts, we have minor support. We're gonna uh, view the minor support level a bit better when we zoom onto the daily chart. But needless to say, minor support, 26, 177 zone. And we came in a little bit last week. Uh, we finished off at 26.503. Little bit of a bottoming tail, which suggests that price may be going a bit higher. Uh, now, there is one other thing that we need to take into consideration. Uh, Canadian officials apparently are nearing a deal on rewriting NAFTA, and they really hope to complete the new accord by midnight tonight. So that's gonna be a very, very interesting uh, uh, course. We may see a run up, uh, obviously. This was something that uh, was seen as a setback. And uh, let's uh, zoom into the daily charts. Daily charts are actually very favorable for a push higher. As you can see, we're riding onto the 10 EMA. We did not have a full completion into this confluence into the 26200. And we're seemingly rotating a little bit higher. 26,580 is going to be the trigger for an accelerated move higher, possibly back into the 26A20. These are what this is what the technicals are pointing out. Now, what does this mean from the open? Well, uh, let's take a look at the hourly charts. And uh, we have the overhead resistance from the 200 moving average and actually the m &E Dow as well as the S&P were a little bit weaker on Friday. Uh, we, have a little, we had a little bit more strength in NASDAQ and Russell. All right, so back to our YM here. Uh, YM still trading below the 200 simple moving average and also into resistance into the 530 zone. As you could see, we had a downtrending motion from last Friday all throughout this week until this Friday. Double bottom, 26,550, moved higher back into resistance. If we break through the 530 zone, in fact, I do have an alert at that area, we are poised to accelerate higher back into the 26,570 zone and higher into these prior resistance zones, 26, 600, back into the 26, 680, back, uh, back into the 26, 700, and back into the 26, 800. So as you can see, we pretty much have uh, set all these setups based on the weekly chart are likely to move in 100 point increments. Now, we finished off the day quite uh, on a mild note 27 points to the upside. And uh, right now it really looks like it, we may get that push higher. So we're gonna pay attention to the NAFTA deal. And in fact, I'm even considering a position into the 26,530 zone for a push higher and using a stop into the 420. The targets for this projected move are going to be into the 26,600 26,700 into this prior high and back into the 26A20. Are there projections beyond this point, beyond this high? Yes, there are. And in fact, the nearest projection that I have is the 26,914. 
Okay, so we do have a lot of room for continuation higher. Now, let's take a look at the mini S&P. All right, and uh, being uh, the beginning of the month, we're going to start with the monthly chart. Monthly chart, uh, monthly chart is telling us that, hey, you know what? It is a doji, but at the same time, 29.47 29 is a new high. We currently have the new support level, which is a minor support level at 28.83, area that we have visited throughout this month leaving a doji behind on the monthly. But we're still trading into a continuation for higher. All right, let's move on to the weekly charts. Weekly charts still moving into a good, uh, in a, into a good long directional bias. If, and right now the price is 29.21, right? This was on Friday, this is where we closed. If we break above the 29.47, boom. We're going higher. In fact, all we need to do is push through 29.25. Let's move on to the daily chart. Daily chart, we can see a buy into the 29.30. 29.30 is going to be the line in the stand. If we're going to push higher, 29.30 is going to accelerate uh, the price back into this prior high, which is an all-time high, 29.47 and higher. Okay, so. As you can see, the daily chart is riding the 20 SMA. We have been riding the 20 SMA since July, since end of July, so quite a few months, right? So this is the level that I'm gonna be watching. 29.30, a break to the upside. This is going to push the market higher. 29.30, you can see it right here. 29.24 and 29.30, These, this is gonna be the cluster. We definitely need to erase the 29.30 in order to accelerate higher. If the price is not gonna be able to accelerate immediately and have an immediate reaction above the 29.30, then we may see another leg lower back into this 200 SMA. So as you saw, the m and &E Dow and the S&P 500 are capped below their 200 SMAs. All right, so all we need to do is you raise the 29.24, I'm becoming a little bit more bullish at this point, into the 30s, this could be half a position here for a long 29.25, and add the other half in back over 30. Projected targets, like I said, we're gonna go for the 29.47, which is this high, obviously 45, we're gonna set our first target into the 45s, uh, the next target is into 29.68, so we do have a projection higher, okay? So that means that we, uh, this is a good to go over 29.30. Let's take a look at NASDAQ. NASDAQ, uh, really strong expected, uh, expected for window dressing, right? We had some powerful moves. In fact, NVIDIA was a powerhouse on Friday, a um, little bit uh, trouble price action, as you can see, but one thing is definite. We have been riding the, tw uh, the 50 simple moving average for about two days or so, and we've been trying to coil around this 50 SMA for some time. All right, let's start with a monthly chart. Most bullish index, you could see right here, huge top, huge bottoming tail, all right? just ready to burst above the 76.97, which is the all time high and ready to project higher. Uh, we're gonna talk now about targets, 7,700, 7,750, 7,800, and 7,843. These are the projected targets for NASDAQ for the upcoming week. Let's move on to the weekly charts and the weekly charts really nice, uh, bullish base uh, from 7,500 to 76, uh, to 76.70. Trying to erase, so this push after this doji on Thursday, this push higher is trying to eliminate these prior highs. Really nice price action. And in fact, intraday had a really nice price action on Friday at the beginning of the session from 10.15 into 11 o'clock. All right, let's move on to the daily charts. Daily charts riding the 10 EMA, which suggests that we may have a power trend developing. So any break over the 76.97 is gonna project the price higher. 
All right, so looking very good. Let's take a look at some actionable trading ideas uh, because we're about 15 minutes away from the open. We have a base at 76.75. If we break above this range, as you can see, we already have the one hour rotation off the 50 SMA on Friday. So projecting higher, a blast over 75 is going to bring back uh, our price action higher to the targets that we have mentioned. Last but not least, Russell. And uh, in fact, let's start with the monthly chart. All right, Russell was a little bit weaker all month long. As you can see, big red bar. Uh, we have support, 1686, uh, 1746 for the high. Russell had a very hard time digesting over the 1723. In fact, it has been coiling around that price range for about two to three weeks now. Right now, testing the 1700 once again. And that was on Friday. So Friday, let's move on to the weekly chart. We tapped onto, guess where, the 20 SMA. And right now, really nice bottoming tail suggesting that the price is ready to rotate higher. In fact, if we break above 1719, 1720, this is gonna be a nice acceleration for higher back into this prior high of 1746 and back into projected targets. So the projected targets that uh, we have beyond 20 are the 1740, 1760, and 1775. So as you can see, quite a nice tradable void. Let's move on right now to the daily charts. Daily charts here. All right, here it is, the break of support here. We had two days. Uh, we had Thursday and Friday. We had Wednesday and Thursday's support set at 93. Yesterday we did peers, typical Russell. We did peers into the 1687 uh, zone. Rotated higher. We, tri we triggered above this prior high. Not only that, peekaboo high above the 20, above the 50 SMA, which is really nice. Uh, but now we have to deal with this whole cluster at the 1710 level which is minor resistance and if we break above this minor resistance we have the velocity uh, to move higher into the 1720. let's move on to the hourly chart for some uh quick actionable ideas you could see that struggle that the price had into thursday and friday friday we breached the level set its new support level rotated from that level and came in with a vengeance 1705 back down into minor support level at the 1700 as a mind of its own but hey take a look at this tap onto the 20 sma very appealing rotated here back into the 1705s uh now keep in mind 1705 it doesn't really clear the range because we have this prior low that we set last monday remember monday when we try to break through the 1700 and then mildly rotated higher and then back down on Wednesday. Well, this prior pivot low is setting right now resistance at this price level. So we're not yet out of uh, the woods with Russell. Russell really needs to trade over 1710 zone in order to start accelerating higher. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, enjoy the video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at tradeoutloud.com. Me or my team are gonna get back to you. Uh, if you wanna try out our trading room, uh, we are open every day from nine o'clock to four o'clock. We day trade the m &E futures and we swing trade futures, stocks, and ETFs. If you wanna learn more, you can visit our website. It is tradeoutloud.com forward slash live trading room. We also have an auto program. And if you're interested on that, if you don't have the time to trade, uh, definitely it is www.tradeoutloud.com forward slash auto trading. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you all have a great profitable trading week and I'll see you next time.